So we're out with this tandem this morning. So we've got three geldings in. Obviously the little fella in the middle there. Um, he didn't really get on with other horses around him. So what we've done first of all is put him in a pair. And then we put him in, you know, and he put him near side, off side. He definitely doesn't like the near, the near side. Or what? Um, he doesn't like things along the side of the road. Anything like these bollards, um, this van parked here. Uh, anything you can think of, really. Dustbin, you know, out for the dustbin man. Um, come over, baby. It. So this sign on this side of the road here, the ironical thing is that sign's there all the time. That little blackboard thing there, right? Hey. Now if you're on that side, take no notice of it. If you move that exact sign to the near side of the road, he doesn't like it. So straight away you think to yourself, what could that be? So you could think, has he got uh, a problem with his sight on that side? Um, so, if you can, obviously you can have that checked, but I don't think it is, because some things now, it'll pass and doesn't care. Come up. You know, some things he'll pass and he doesn't care, that he did care about last week. So I think what's probably happened somewhere along the line, he's, um, you know, he's got uh, frightened, maybe hurt by something. Now, if you say, well, what would that be? Well, it can be a branch sticking out. It can be anything, you know. Um, or someone coming out between this copper beach here. This big hedge, say that, for instance. Someone coming out with, you know, I don't know, something that's frightening to him. You know, children party, taking balloons in or something like that. And that stayed in his mind, so he doesn't like it. And then when that happens, you find then you get a fear of everything else. So, in the position he's in now, you know, like, if we could find a man oh, in the middle of the road, he'd go straight over it. But you put him on over that side, on the near side, and there's a man oh, near the near side, he, he doesn't want to go over it. Um, he's getting better, so it's quite a, a, a thing. And the other thing was, he didn't really want other horses around him. Now, some are like that, so what I'm going to do, I'm going to show you now, I'm going to come for this manhole right in the middle, yeah? Can you see him just going over it there, more or less? Um, not perfect, but, you know, he's, he's new to the job. But I'll put him on the other side, and he will move round it, exactly the same manhole. But on the near side, you ask him to go over it. Now, what I think he feels is crowded, he feels crowded by the hedge, the buildings, anything at all, and he doesn't like that, you know, you could see some form of claustrophobia, I suppose, so he doesn't like it, so you now he doesn't like the manhole because he doesn't like the thing, that cloud, this horse on the inside, you could brush him along the hedge, and he just doesn't care, you know, he just doesn't care, he seriously just doesn't care. But if you've done the same with this little horse in the middle, you'd be upset. So yesterday, you can see their cloud look, they run right along that stuff, you know, we don't care. But yesterday, we had the coloured one on the near side, and, um, come up. Come up. down there you see that he's just got to bite that horse for no reason whatsoever no reason whatsoever you know the horse didn't do anything he didn't come into his space <laughs> come over boys didn't come into his space or anything so we're doing about three things at once one he don't like um, being over that side near that side we had him there yesterday he'll be there again so what I'm going to do, I'm going to, well, what I won't do, but Ree will. <laughs> There's no point in me trying to do it. What Ree will do is put up some clips of yesterday 
when that horse was on the inside. So it's laying on the pole drastically, it wasn't comfortable um, there at all. As the day went on, you know, or the drive went on, because it was quite a long one, we were down in the main town, um, and it was definitely improving. But in my opinion, he, he didn't want to put him back there again today. Because if you upset a horse, so he wasn't happy on the inside, but he coped with it. He coped with it. As the day went on, he got better with it. So we don't want to put him back there again. He's still got to go out. I can still bring him over quite a bit to the hedge. Can you see? And he's not turning his head away. Can you see as I hold his head over? You know, he's nowhere near. Yesterday he wouldn't have done that. And he's not being forced to do it now. The poles are not pushing him there. You know, if you... So when I bring him over like this, can you see? Look, he's not laying on the poles as compared with yesterday when he was laying on the pole. See my baby boy there, look. Push his head right through that. Look, come over, son. Come over, Claire. Claire, come over. You know, no trouble at all, that old twig and anything like that. And that wouldn't be something you'd want to eat, because that don't taste nice. Horses don't like that particular plant. Um, there's nothing wrong with it, it won't hurt them, but they don't like it. I only know that because we've got some around the field, and they never trim it up, they trim everything else. <laughs> So, going over it again, just to explain, I'm just going to stop here for a minute so I can explain what we're doing. Oh, my babies. So the centre horse was on the inside, did not like that position at all. This horse on the outside is traffic shy, he's in an open bridle, yeah, so we drive him open or closed, can you see, like you can see his eye there, um, yeah, so he doesn't like the traffic. So he's got to stay there and get used to the traffic, not force him, no good forcing them. So they can squeeze up quite tight, you know, if I want to squeeze them up quite tight, they, I can make them almost the same as a pair of horses, yeah? I can make them almost the same width as a pair of horses. We can squeeze through little gaps. So, you know, something that's tight for the carriage, we can squeeze the three horses in and they'll come into line and and do what we want them to do then. So that horse there on the outside doesn't like the traffic. This one doesn't like being crowded. Even when we come back in the yard and you're asking him to be tight to a wall where we tie him up, he didn't like it. You know, he would come right away from the wall. You say, come over, baby. That was when he was on the near side, on the inside, if you like, where this horse is now. So the schoolmaster, he doesn't care where he'd quite happily sit up here with us or in the back or he'd be out the front, you know, taking the lead. That's his job. You see him standing there perfectly calm and like that. Someone else asked me the other day, they said, you're always driving. Stand still. Come round, Cloud. Cloud. So you can see there he's got a Liverpool shank on. Can you see the black horse while I turn his head that way for you to look? Yeah. And the reason for that is, I did explain this the other day. So he's got a Liverpool in his mouth, but what's in his actual mouth is a rubber bit. But it's got Liverpool shanks because we drive every horse with these guards on their lips. Yeah. So you see like this one here, the green guard, cheek guard so that we don't pull the metal ring into their mouths when you're doing young horses. It's uncomfortable and hurts. So, the, you know, the ring on the outside of the bit that connects to the bridle and the reins, you could pull it through his mouth. We'll show you that up close. Um, stand up, baby. So that's why he's wearing that bit, because he had a reaction to the rubber and it took the pigment colour out, out of his little lips at the back in the crease of his mouth so that's the reason he's wearing that, lots of people have noticed that's in there but it's a rubber bit we'll show you when we get back exactly what it is, just as soft as any other bit but he, he can't wear the rubber cheek guards because he has a reaction to it anyway, getting back to what I'm saying so this horse don't like traffic, now you can say to me, well he's no problem, I've just seen motor cars come past, vans and like that well obviously he's in training he's getting better 
he's still not perfect but this is lovely so his quarters are turned out for this motor car and that will come past there and he takes no notice whatsoever yeah so we're happy with him he's going nice he's in an open bridle then he'll be in a closed bridle um you know a blinker bridle or blinder bridle this horse in the middle was there and was didn't want to be there but eventually over the day taking it nice and steady conjoling him kidding him along talking to him he eventually started to settle on the way home and he was getting better now a lot of people would say put him over there again today and he'll be used to it by the end of this drive no not with this particular horse right you overload him overload this horse by asking him too much too quickly he'd go backwards so if you put him over there again today he doesn't remember the good from yesterday he remembers he doesn't like it or he didn't enjoy it you know or he you know he, had, he didn't really want to do it <clears throat> so to put him back there again wouldn't be the right move at all put him there i can bring him over quite tight I can get his head very close to it. I can ask Cloud, my me, me schoolmaster, to come back a bit, you know, just use his language with him, which is obviously not the same as the other horses. So if I go to him, oh, oh, he'll come back. He'll come out the trace, he's come back. He can come back maybe six, nine inches, which will allow me to put this all, send him on a bit and put him over against the, you know, the side. The reason I've stopped on the bridge here, this bridge is very dangerous for horses. It's a big steel plate yeah obviously rough cut years ago when it was put up back um i think it's something like 1880 something like that um this bridge was up there's a railway went under here originally but it's sharp edges you can't do it all right with cloud because he knows what he's doing but we can come up walk up cloud i might put cloud close to it yeah and you see the other all like coming onto the grass looking and what's it he wouldn't have done that yesterday you can see it we'll give you put some clips of film up on the corner of this one so you can see walk on baby so that's the best place for him today and that's the best place for that one so this wants to be a bit of pleasure and the, and the, where we're going to go we're going to have bits where we can get him close you know to the curb where i can put some um, cloud up on the curb you know up on the bank if you like Ask Claire to get up on the bank so he's then back in the you know the edge of the road, the gutter. Um, where he don't like to be. But if you've done that today, you put him out there again today, he would go back. And that's just what you learn over the years, you know, that's not any great um it's just things you learn, you know, you just know by the you know the way his body is, the way he's reacting, the way his towel moves. You know the way he moves all his body, all his muscles, and everything. If you you sit behind them long enough, and you're interested, you start to see and learn. You know. I mean, I have to tell you, and I've said it a thousand times, I suppose. I'd like another lifetime to get it right. But here's a prime example. So we've got all this stuff hanging down here. Look, see clouds head go right through it. All right, dragging on his head. Look, yeah, there like that no trouble at all you say to me I'm, I'm concerned about his eyes no he's got a good cupped blinker on that will protect him so you know they've got quite a ring on the quite a cup on on these blinkers because he's often on that side you know so when we come around the corner here now this is more of a main road this is a little country lane we're on here, I suppose. This is more of a main road. Oh, my baby, stand still. Come round, darlings. Come round. That's my baby. So what I can do now here, I can come into this gateway here a little bit and put me big black horse on the pathway I'll oh, just do this nice and steadily so my black horse will go up on the pathway when I ask him come up babe get up 
He'll go there, and the other one will work the gutter there. You see? But he's not stressing, he's not pushing away. He's not coming over, he's accepting it. I'm going to do it again now between these two bollards. There, like that. So a lot, lot better. Now, on this road... On this road, there's numerous places where we can do that. Yeah? And here's one here. So as we come round here, I'll put the black horse... Come over there, Cloud, good boy. And walk this one through the slosh and rubbish, yeah? You see that? And he's accepting that pretty well. Come round, Ollie. So anything along the edge of the road, whatever it might be, he didn't like. Not because he didn't like the things on the edge of the road, just didn't want to be on the edge of the road. Um, there'll be a reason for it, but that's hard to know. You know, he was... Uh, he was already being ridden before he come here, so something might have happened, I don't know. Um, and they just remember it. There's good babies. So you see this horse now, I've taken it out of draft, and me two horses are going on. So they're both taken away, I've got him on a slack rein coming up there. Um, and I can ask him to come up and take it as well to wait. That's lovely. 